It's a sound that sends chills through the spine. They're not angry, they're scared. Stephen Mackesy. Doing that as a nervous reaction. Spent decades studying the animal that makes that noise. At the University of Northern Colorado, he's focusing his current research on their venom. From the first time my hands were shaking. PhD student Kara Smith helps him extract the venom from the snake. Getting a little close. So we've just gotten about a quarter of a milliliter. They study how it helps the animal, but how it can help humans too. How can we develop some of these toxins for use as potential therapeutic? Like how venom could help someday treat cancer. That's the venom. By stopping the disease from spreading through the body. So we began working with several of the rattlesnakes to isolate a particular small compound from the venom that doesn't kill cancer cells, but instead causes them not to disperse, metastasize through the body. And that's where cancers can become particularly dangerous as they spread through, away from a, a tumor site, for example, and then spread throughout the body. This is more than just science. Cancer is personal for this professor. So about 20 years ago, I had a stage two melanoma taken off the middle of my back. A reminder of why this research is so important, even if the subject is scary. They are dangerous to us if they bite us, but on the other hand, that venom may contain some very important therapeutic molecules. Mackesy believes in the potential that something deadly could actually help us even save lives.